Good morning, Madrid. Praise God. Mega morning. Hello, Nebraska, Sarasota. Hello, Odessa, Carol. Good to see you on the broadcast. Erica. Hello, Bristol. Shoramashte. Australia on the line. Sophia, New York. Good to see you, South Africa. Northern Ireland. It's been a long night. I'm weary. It's been a long time. And I'm hungry now. So I San Pedro. It's early, early, early. The California Faithful. Good morning, Hope Intercessor. I like that name. We're going to start in about one minute. Share this with your friends. Invite your followers. Let's get the word out. Good morning, Blessing Beyond. Time to wake up. Shaka Tarabashto Shokoto Rabashte. Five days until my birthday. I'm going to be 21. Hallelujah. Always wanted to be 21. Always wanted to be 21. I don't really celebrate my birthday, but this year, Naomi Rain's going to be down with us on my birthday, so. We're going to celebrate. Baby Prophet's birthday was last week, so we're celebrating together. Happy birthday, Hope Intercessor. Happy birthday, loved and favored. Praise God. Thank you, Carol. I'm going to stay 21. My youthful appearance will remain intact. Praise God. You know, in heaven, they say you look like you're about 30. Maybe I should maybe I should say it's my 30th birthday. Praise God. All right, let's get started. I'm getting carried away. Hallelujah. Share this with your friends. Thank you. Let's get going. All right, guys, you know me, Jennifer LeClaire, author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit and Evenings with the Holy Spirit. There's a sequel in case you hadn't heard. Today's devotion titled Expect More from Me. Praise God. I like the sound of that. Here's what I heard the Lord say. I know it sometimes feels as if people expect a lot from you, more than you feel you can give, more than you feel you should have to give, more than they are willing themselves to give. I know it sometimes feels as if people are pulling you in a million different directions with no consideration for your boundaries. People will always expect more from you than you can give. As for you, says God, stop expecting so much from other people and start expecting more from me. When you do, you will not be disappointed. I will give you the grace to do everything I've called you to do. Praise God. That's a good word. I don't care where you are from. Today's scripture references Matthew 6 and 15, Isaiah 30 and 18, and 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8. And the prayer starter for today, those who trust in the Lord will never be disappointed. I choose this day to trust in you for the grace I need to rise up and handle everything you expect me to do and for the courage to say no to the things you've not called me to do. Praise God. That's a word right there. We're going to press into that for just a few moments this morning. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. We thank you, God. You are awesome. You are mighty. You are a warrior. The Lord is your name. It's the name above everything. 
every name in the universe, under the sun, in hell, everywhere. Your name is recognized as king. Your, rec your name is recognized as Lord. Your name, it's recognized as the everlasting one, the eternal one, the great and mighty one. You are robed in majesty. You are a king, a proper king, not a king like the world knows a king, but an everlasting king, a gracious king, a faithful king, a wonderful king, a marvelous king. We serve a king who is good and kind and loving. Oh, your intentions towards us, they're always good. They're always kind. Your hope for us is always intact. You're hopeful about us even when we're not hopeful. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. You are good. You are great. You are awesome. You are mighty. We worship you Jesus there is no other God like you you are magnificent oh you are holy 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 the angels cry holy 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 beauty 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 oh they never get tired of gazing upon your beauty God oh God give us that measure of revelation that the angels have that they're willing and ready and able and delighted and content to stand before you all the days of their existence crying holy 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 and every time they get another glimpse of you holy 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 every time they think of you holy 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 because you are holy you are perfect you are lacking nothing you are all sufficient and you are a generous God you are liberal in your giving we thank you and we praise you that whatever we need we can come and ask of you the giving God we can come and ask of you the one who meets all of our needs our very present help the one who loves us to the end hallelujah the one that loved us from the beginning praise God I thank you Lord that Jesus is the Lamb of God slain before the foundations of the earth oh that just blows our minds God you had a salvation plan before you even created us you had a plan to save us before we ever even fell I thank you Lord I thank you Lord I thank you Lord you are perfection you are the personification of perfection we love you you Jesus you are holy you are holy God help us to be holy even as you are holy God help us to yield to your consecration your, your the work of your spirit in our lives help us to yield to that sanctification help us God to yield to what you're doing in our hearts help us to yield to that chiseling away of the flesh help us to yield to your conviction your correction your discipline help us give us the grace of of yieldedness today God give us the grace of yieldedness today God that we would just say yes Lord here I am fling wide the door to my soul God fling wide fling wide fling wide do what you want to do God metal metal around fix things break things that need to be refixed like a bone I shakata I see that somebody right now you're going through a season of brokenness it's brokenness it's brokenness and the Lord has allowed you to be broken that he might reset some things in your life hear me now it's like a bone that's reset when I was a kid I broke my leg twice I broke it twice and they had to reset it they couldn't just allow it to stay broken in the way that it was broken they had to break it again to reset it they had to adjust it they had to align it there's some things that have happened in your life and you feel broken but the Lord would say to you don't you worry and don't you fret because I'm resetting some things in your life and this brokenness experience it will cause you to have more compassion for others who have gone through things uh, who are going to go through things says God that are that are worse even than what you're going through I've allowed the brokenness the Lord says embrace the brokenness embrace the humility embrace the brokenness embrace the humility but know that I'm doing something in it I am resetting some things in your life like a physician resets a bone I am allowing some things to happen that you might be renewed in the spirit of your mind oh you're going to see things differently says the Lord you're going to see things in a fresh way in a new way oh and the Lord says I'm even uh, uh, pouring out fresh oil fresh oil fresh oil fresh oil upon you and that fresh oil is going to heal you as even the bone resets it's going to heal you I thank you Lord that you, you strengthen the feeble knees like you say in Hebrews strengthen the feeble knees God oh God I thank you that you realign us that you realign us that you realign us that you reset us that's what it is some of you have got got have entered into to wrong alignments some of you have entered into relationships wrong alignments relationships wrong alignments and you're being realigned and the leaving the old has caused a, a brokenness in your soul it's not a brokenness of spirit some of you listen
listen, it's a brokenness of soul. It's a grieving of soul. It's a, it's a regret of the soul. Yeah, there's something going on in your soul. This is different than the other group. Now I'm talking to somebody different. Listen to me now. Fresh oil. There's a brokenness in your soul because you liked that alignment. You liked that relationship. You liked that friendship. You liked that, that partnership. You liked it. Uh, but the Lord is saying it's time to move away from that because there's a realignment. So we've got the reset group and the realignment group. I thank you, Lord, that you realign us today in whatever area we need to be realigned. God, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for that fresh oil, that healing oil, that anointing oil, that fresh oil, that anointing oil, that healing oil. I thank you, Lord, for those who are broken in spirit, for those who are broken in soul. I thank you, Lord, for your healing in Jesus name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Realignment, a mega realignment. Praise God. Some of you listen, there'll be physical healing in your body when you get realigned, when you get aligned rightly, when you, you're, oh my goodness, there's a, there's a misalignment in some of your lives and it's brought sickness on your body. In other words, it's opened the door to an enemy attack. There's a misalignment. There's a misalignment, a misalignment. There's a misalignment. Some of you, the reason why you're sick is because you're connected to the wrong person and it's opened a portal of hell over your life. It's a Jezebel kind of issue. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Some of you are aligned with the controlling manipulative person, a Jezebelic person, and you're tolerating it. Oh my goodness. You're tolerating it. I can see it. You're tolerating it. You're tolerating it. You're tolerating Jezebel. And that opens a portal of hell over your life. Oh my goodness. I remember one time I was aligned with a Jezebel more than once, more than once because it's a crafty spirit. I was aligned with somebody uh, more than once, several times that had a, actually, yes, several times that had a spirit of Jezebel and it was subtle and, and you can't always see these things because it'll hide from you and other people around you sometimes they can see it and you can't see it because it'll hide from you and it's very subtle and I remember each time each time each time each time every time all the time not one time was I aligned with a Jezebel with someone carrying a Jezebel spirit that I did not uh, become sick in my body mega sick ever a uh, uh, lengthy sicknesses the, hmm Yes, Lord. There's not been one time where a Jezebel has not seeped into my life somewhere where I did not end up with a major sickness, praise God, a major setback. And some of you, that's the reason why. It's almost unexplained. It's just you get sick, you get sick, you get sick, you get sick. There's not really any any good reason for it. There's not. It, it just does. It almost defies uh, logic that you would stay sick and keep getting sick. Some of it. Some of it is cyclical sicknesses, cyclical cyclical issues where it's like every three months or every six months or whatever it is. Every year, bam, it comes back again. We're going to come against that in Jesus' name. So there's those that are being reset, reset, reset. There's those that are being realigned, and there's those that. Are, that are misaligned. We're going to come against the misalignments. Father, I thank you in Jesus' name. Yes, I thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let me teach you something about Jezebel. I don't want to be irresponsible. You can't just go tearing down principalities by yourself, okay? That's not what we're doing. We're not trying to tear down a principality over your city. That's not something you do without a direct word of the Lord, without a lot of fasting and, and, and pre prayer, without a without an intercessory backup prayer team and without a, a strategic plan from the Holy Ghost. What we're doing is we're breaking ties with Jezebelic influences that have seeped in unawares. It's a creeper. You remember the creepers? It's a creeper. It's a creeper. It's a creeper. It's a creeper. So we're going to come against that. I want to, I had to preface that I had to obey the Lord because some of you uh, might want to go out and start bashing Jezebel. You end up bringing more warfare on yourself than you have right now. So we're going to, we're going to do this now. So pray with me. Come on, pray in the spirit. Karabashto shoko Takata, Rimeshte, Koramashte, Sheketeriboshta, Romoshta, Shakata Rabashte, Shimbrishta, Shokotoro Boshtom Brashte, Sheketeribeshte, Kataria Katarabashte, Shoko, come on, prophet, pray with me. Shakatarabashte, Shake PV, rise up, Karabashto, Shokotoro Boshte, Shekete, Shoro.
Romoshto Shokoto Roboshta Shakatara Mashtim Brishte Shikitim Brishta Shoroboshto Kotom Bashte Karamoshtom Rashte Father I thank you in the name of Jesus that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But God I thank you that you've identified a creeper today named Jezebel Kotoroboshta Shakata. That creeper called Jezebel, it impacts finances, it impacts health, it impacts relationships, it opens a portal of hell by aligning, by aligning, by aligning with this enemy, with by aligning, by allowing, by tolerating the spirit of Jezebel. We have opened a portal of hell over our lives, God. We ask you in Jesus' name to forgive us, God. Forgive us, God. Forgive us, God, for not discerning the spirit, God. Forgive us, Lord, for aligning in any way, shape, or form, for tolerating in any way, shape, or form, for putting up with in any way, shape, or form the spirit of Jezebel, this one uh, that is influencing uh, people in our lives to, 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 to be wily and crafty and controlling and manipulative. Father, I thank you that you forgive us, God, for not discerning when your word tells us in Revelation 2 and 20, I have this this one thing against you that you tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to sacrifice to idols uh, to, 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 to and to commit immorality father I thank you I think that devil's trying to stop me from praying I thank you Lord we repent we repent for misalignments we repent for 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 unholy alignments God with Jezebel I thank you Lord some of these people are in your family and you got to love them but you don't have to tolerate them father I thank you. you don't have to bow to the manipulation you don't have to bow you don't have to bow you don't have to bow we repent Lord for bowing to it we repent Lord for putting up with it because we didn't want to cause a drama we repent Lord for putting up with it because we didn't want to cause a stink we didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings we repent Lord for bowing to the spirit God in Jesus name now I come against this Jezebel influence in your life I come against every uh, every uh, expression of Jezebel's witchcraft in your life I come against every uh, attack or assignment of Jezebel operating through people in your life I thank you Lord that you in Jesus name I break the assignment of Jezebel off your life now in Jesus name I break the assignment of Jezebel off your life right now in Jesus name I break come against and command the operation of the spirit of Jezebel that has come against you to be ceased and desist I say fall to the ground you weapons of Jezebel you witchcraft you sickness you infirmity in Jesus name I break it I come against it in the name of the Lord father we're not tolerating this thing I I slam the portal shut the portals of hell I slam it shut in Jesus name it's not coming to our house any longer Lord give us strength and grace and a backbone to stand up to Jezebel and say no oh and that brings us right back around to what the Lord said this morning the grace to say no father I thank you that you'll give us the grace to say no grace to say no grace to set boundaries see Jezebel breaks every boundary Jezebel breaks every boundary Jezebel has no respect for your boundaries I thank you Lord that you will teach us how to say no that you will grace us to say no that you will help us to say no in the name of Jesus I thank you Lord that you teach us how to set up boundaries that evil spirits people operating in evil spirits will not come in will not have a way to manipulate will not have a means to control in Jesus name I see it my God my God my God I shakata my Lord Jesus help me grace grace to set boundaries we hashtag no 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 we're learning to say no today we say no to Jezebel you want to say you want to see someone with the spirit of Jezebel manifest you say a two-letter word called no and they rise up and they freak out and they're melodramatic and they cry oh they let the alligator tears start flowing down their face or they get angry they get mad they make threats praise God just like Jezebel threatened Elijah through the messenger hallelujah I thank you Lord hashtag no 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 we're not going there we're not doing this we're not bowing to Jezebel any longer some some of you Jezebel listen some of you Jezebel has stolen your inheritance some of you Jezebel has stolen your inheritance some of you Jezebel has stolen your inheritance no mas devil just like uh, 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 Naboth Naboth Ahab wanted Naboth's field and Naboth said no 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 he said no he wasn't going to tolerate it 
He said, no, that's my inheritance. My daddy, my pappy gave me that. He gave me that land. I cannot sell it to you. I will sell you some other land over yonder. And, and Ahab soaked and pouted and got depressed and refused to eat and went on back and laid in the bed and would not turn over. And Jezebel said, what's wrong, baby? What's wrong, honey? How can I help you? And she took his signet ring and set up Naboth with a false accusation. And Naboth died. And Jezebel stole the inheritance. Jezebel stole the land. Hand. Somebody you know, listening to me, your inheritance has been stolen by a Jezebel. Probably somebody in your family. Maybe it was a stepbrother. Maybe it was a cousin. Maybe it was a sister or brother claiming rights to what belonged to you. And you got gypped. You got messed over. You got stolen from. I break all that in Jesus' name. And I thank you, Lord, for the mega justice from yesterday. I thank you, Lord, for that payback. I thank you, Lord. We bind that operation of the spirit of Jezebel in our lives. And Father, if we've behaved in a manner unlike uh, unto like Jezebel if we have tapped into any of that ourselves Lord we ask you to forgive us because we want no common ground we want payback no common ground we want payback we don't want no common ground we want payback we don't want any common ground with Jezebel God Lord help us Lord help us Lord help us we repent of any common ground and we ask you Lord to heal our bodies right now in Jesus name we've broken the ties now heal our bodies in Jesus name heal our bodies in Jesus name heal our bodies in Jesus name restore what the enemy stole God in Jesus name would you help us God to do what you've called us to do to recover and restore yeah David said shall I go up and the Lord said you shall go up and you will recover all you will recover all I thank you Lord that you will cause us to recover all little by little as we battle these enemies little by little as we stand on your word little by little just just like the children of Israel overcame their enemies little by little because they followed the strategy of the Lord. I thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Go up and recover all. Mega healing. Mega no more Jezebel. Praise God. Well, I didn't see that coming, but I got a revelation this morning. Praise God. It's something that something that's going on, something that's attacking me that I did not see it. I did not see it. You know, sometimes you can't see a thing. That's why you got to pray because in prayer, did you know that in prayer, in prayer, in prayer, in prayer, the Lord will reveal things to you that you weren't even seeking. In prayer, the Lord will show you things that you weren't even asking about. In prayer, the Lord will, will, will open your eyes to things that you could not see, that you didn't even know that you should be asking about. That's the beauty of prayer. Anytime we draw near to him, we come to him, we pray in his name, we glorify him, we magnify him, we lift up the name of Jesus and we press into him. He, he does more in us uh, at that moment. More, He shows us more things. and we can, He's just good like that. I don't even know how it works. I just know that he's gracious and he's merciful and he wants us to pray. He wants us to spend time with him. He wants us to, to to, 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 to sit in his presence. He wants us to cry out. He doesn't even, isn't sometimes, listen, sometimes it doesn't even matter what you cry out for. You might, you, we don't know how to pray as we ought, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't pray. Are you hearing me? And we don't know how to pray as we ought. So sometimes you're going through a trial. Sometimes you're going through some big, horrible thing and you don't know how to pray. And the temptation is to not pray. The temptation is, well, it doesn't do any good. The temptation is, well, I don't know what to pray for. So God, I don't know what to say. doesn't matter. Pray for anything. Pray for somebody else. Lift up your neighbor. Pray for your coworker. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. Just pray. It doesn't matter if you know what to pray for. Just pray. Pray in the spirit. Just praise him just sing glory to his name just just hallelujah just pray because when we draw close to him we always walk away with a blessing when we pray we always walk away with a blessing it might not be what we think it was going to be but it's going to be something we've got to pray we've got to keep praying these prayer these prayer broadcasts will change your life if you get on these things I, it won't even it just give me a week praise God but some of you have been on for months some of you have been on these things for years these prayer calls radically change your life it's nothing about me it's not about me it's about getting together with a group of people and praying and you can do it by yourself you can do it one or two you can do it uh, in China you can do it in your basement you can do it anywhere you are that's the wonderful thing about prayer you can do it in your head you can do it out loud you can write it in a journal you can do it anywhere anytime nobody can stop you from praying praise God isn't that good news hallelujah you can pray anywhere all the time and God's always going to show you something new he's going to do something in you that 
which you can't see. Whatever he does, however it works, I don't even care. I just like it, praise God. Pray without ceasing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. God is good. God is good. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. All right. Let me, I got one more thing I want to share with you and it is about warfare, but I'm going to do it at the end. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed. I always do it. Some of you actually do sow. Some of you never have. Some of you might never will. I don't really care. I give you the opportunity because the Lord tells me to. So I'm not here to, to twist, twist your arm. When I say I don't care, I mean you're you are welcome. Everybody here is welcome. You, it's not about uh, uh, you have to sow. There's no charge. The gospel is free. Prayer is free. But if this is touching your life, if this is helping you, I'm asking you to help me back. I'm asking you to partner with me as I partner with you. Did you know? Know, did you know that Elijah, uh, that 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 a widow partnered with Elijah, and when he when she par- she was poor, she didn't have much, but she obeyed the instruction to partner with the man of God. She obeyed uh, to to partner with him, and she had provision that never ran out. Praise God! I want to invite you today, not just to give a one time seed, but I want to invite you also to become a partner with my ministry. I want you to to, to pray about becoming an actual partner where you give every month just go sign up and become a partner why because if if you align rightly if you align rightly you will see provision flow in your life if you're misaligned with your finances if you're sowing into a into a, a dry and dusty desert land that has no oil no anointing no river flowing then you're just you're just there's still the principle of, of sowing and reaping but you're not going to get the hundredfold if you're sowing where God's not telling you to sow you get the hundredfold, which by the way, hundredfold means maximum blessing. Hundredfold, it just, the, the, the number 100 represents maximum. It's not limited to a hundredfold. That's where we, we get in our minds and say, well, I want the 36 or 100. 100 is the maximum, the maximum God can do. And how many know God is able to do more than we can think or imagine? So I want to invite you. Yes, if you want to just sow one time seed, that blesses me. I like it. It helps me to do the things I need to do, uh, and, it, and it costs money to do ministry. But if you would be be inclined to pray about becoming a partner, that would really, uh, really help me. You can do that at jenniferleclair.org/donate. Get rightly aligned. I'll rightly align your finances. Praise God. Don't don't sow into Jezebel. See, too many people are sowing into Jezebelic ministries and wondering why they don't get a harvest. Can I say that again? Too many people are sowing into Jezebelic ministries and they wonder why they're not getting a harvest. Somebody just, uh, oh, I'm not going to go there, praise God. But I'll just tell you, you got to you got to align rightly. you got to align with where you're being blessed, and that's where your blessings flow. Go to jenniferleclair.org slash donate, jenniferleclair.org slash donate. You can sow a one-time seed there. You can also become a partner there, and I encourage you to do that if the Lord's speaking to you. It helps me to project and plan what I need to do in the ministry. You can also use PayPal, paypal.me slash jenniferleclair, paypal.me slash slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. There's no games. There's no arm twisting. There's no gimmicks here in my ministry. I'm asking, and if you want to be part of it, you can. Uh, I was with a rubber-lipped false prophet one time, and he, he was uh, saying, if you put $200 in my hand, you're going to go back to your seat and find money in your purse. Now, that just makes me sick. I actually left the meeting. I excused myself before I vomited on his shoes. So uh, we don't do that here, but I do ask. Now, if you want to give by pay, by uh, by uh, pay uh, uh, what is it text to give text seven five four seven zero one two one six one seven five four seven zero one two one six one text the word pray p r a y text the word pray p r a y seven five four seven zero one two one six one or you can send a check p o box three nine five three Hallandale Beach Florida three three zero zero nine three nine five three Hallandale Beach Florida three three 
0009 that's on my website at jenniferleclair.org. Now, I want to remind you that my School of Spiritual Warfare is launching in September. Now, we're in July. Uh, we're in July. Uh, there's early bird prices right now. Uh, the price will go up. I don't charge for most of the things I do. I was talking with a, a, a guy yesterday, uh, a friend of my uncle's, and he was like, you've got all these websites. Like, you, you must be, you know, he was a businessman. He's like, you must be you must be making all kinds of money and I'm like no you don't understand I'm not charging for any of this stuff I charge only for the schools I'm not charging for for all these other things I, he's like you're not charging I said no because it's not a business it's a ministry but there are some things we do have to charge for that covers the cost of everything a school spiritual warfare is one of those it's not a, not it's not a huge fee you can get it on that you can go to uh, my eventbrite page jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com and you can sign up for the school of spiritual warfare there will be a payment plan coming uh, that comes at a premium because we have to set up a pay, pay to have the payment plan Then we have to pay the credit card processor. So if you do the payment plan, it costs you a little bit more than if you do the traditional just flat time fee. But go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. You're going to want to be part of the school of spiritual warfare. Why? Because I know how to fight and some of you might and some of you might not. But you've got to learn how to fight. If you don't know how to learn how to fight, the enemy's going to keep on robbing from you. He's going to keep on stealing from you. He's going to keep on killing things God's trying to birth in your life. You've got to learn how to fight. Uh, I've written now, I think, four or five books on spiritual warfare, uh, four or five on the prophetic. And so if you're in the prophetic ministry, especially, you need uh, to learn how to fight. Uh, you've got to learn how to fight. I'm going to teach you uh, one on one it, it will, uh, in groups, but they're, uh, uh, they're, they're, uh, it, it's, it's going to be alive. It's going to also be online, uh, but you're going to get that, uh, that mentorship in spiritual warfare. Uh, through our groups and everything else. So go sign up for that. Don't wait till the till the price goes up. Do it now uh, so that you can get the early bird discount. School of Spiritual Warfare, eventbrite.com. You can also Google Jennifer LeClaire School of Spiritual Warfare. You can go do that. Praise God in Jesus' name. Now, I don't know what else I need to mention to you. I've got to go back and get in the presence of the Lord because of the revelation I received uh, this morning. Praise God. Uh, I want you to come visit me at the Awakening House of Prayer. Oh, let me mention this. The Angels Conference is this weekend. Uh, I'm going to be sending out an email uh, with regard to uh, those who may think they are signed up to stream. Uh, you've got to go through a different process to set up the stream. So we'll be sending out an Eventbrite uh, email. Check your spam folders if you've signed up for that conference. You can also find that on my page at uh, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Uh, you can find that there. Hallelujah. And also the Ignite Network. Uh, let me just say this one thing about Ignite before before I go back and tell you the rest of this revelation I got this morning. Listen, if you're part of Ignite uh, and, you've, and Pastor Sierra has been contacting you, uh, would you please uh, answer her? I'd appreciate it. Um, we need to, to get some things to set in order and we need your help. So if you're a member of Ignite uh, and, and uh, could just check your spam folder and make sure and see or check your Facebook messages uh, and see if she's contacted you, uh, I'd appreciate that. Ignite is a, gr a prophetic community. Uh, I'm in there doing little short teaching videos. Sometimes I do long uh, webinars. Uh, the person that was helping me with that uh, basically uh, dropped a, some major balls, so I'm not working with him anymore, but Pastor Sierra is helping me to organize it, so uh, Baby Prophet is on the loose, and she's trying to help me set order where uh, where there were some things that were massively messed up by someone else that was working on it. Uh, uh, Brenda, I don't think you're one that they're trying to uh, to contact, um, but uh, I, I think you're fine, but everybody, if you could just check your, if you, yeah, hashtag order, praise God. Uh, Eventbrite says streaming is full. Uh, I don't think so. Let me go look right now for you uh, to see if Eventbrite is full. I, I, I saw that uh, it, it was, uh, I don't think it's full, but I'm going to look right now for you, okay? So please do, do check that. Ignite was something I started. I launched out of, it was birthed out of prayer uh, because so many people don't have any alignment in the prophetic ministry. You don't have a prophet in your church, an apostle in your church, anybody that understands uh, what is going on. And so that, that's a one way that you can have a loose alignment with me. Uh, it's not, it's not, I'm not going to sit and have coffee with you every day in, in that, in that kind of horizontal uh, alignment. Uh, but, uh, but you've got some form of accountability and also you've got to try 
tribe of people that you're running with and that you're relating to uh, that, that can uh, help you in the prophetic as well. Uh, what I do uh, uh, suggest is that you go read uh, on my um, on my uh, no the the online streaming is not full St ticket sales end 8 4 2017 they started yesterday and there's a thousand of them so it's not uh, it's not full uh, I'm hitting the register button and you can certainly go there and uh, and do it so it's not full I fixed all that last night double checked it all right so join if you want to go to ignitenow.org and read my story with the encounter that I had with the encounter of the Lord uh, do that now thank you Carol praise God Lori Lori Howard is one of our ambassadors uh, Brenda is is all over it she's awesome so these people are part of the group go find out if that would interest you if you have questions about it email ignite prophetic network at gmail.com praise God here's what I want to share with you uh, before we go back into worship Here's what I want to share with you. I wrote it down. Praise God. I write little notes to remind myself because sometimes I forget. Now, the Lord showed me that, that he's allowing some spirits, some enemies uh, to battle you so that you'll know how to fight. Because there's a bigger devil down the road. And he's got, see, he's got a bigger blessing. Listen, he's got a bigger blessing for you down the road. Remember, this is the year of the next. Next level assignments, next level warfare, and next level blessings. The Lord has new assignments for you. He's got big blessings in store for you. But you can't get to the next level without fighting the next devil. So there's some enemies that are present in some of your lives right now. There's some enemies that he's, yeah, he's allowing it. See, anything that happens to you, God has to be the one allowing it. He's not sending it. He's He's not sending devils against you, uh, but he's sovereign. He can stop what he wants to stop. But in his wisdom, he knows that if everything was easy for us all the time, we would just stray from him. If everything was easy for us all the time, we'd get puffed up into pride. If everything was easy for us all the time, we would just uh, not develop any kind of character. You know, the trying of your faith, the Bible says in James, perfecteth patience. The trying of your faith perfecteth patience. The Bible says, let patience have its perfect work, that you'll be a mature person lacking nothing. See, the Lord doesn't want you to lack anything. And sometimes the reason why you're lacking now is because your character is malformed. It's, it's, it's not formed into the image of Christ to the degree it needs to be in order for him to get to you what he wants to get to you. And so you struggle in your soul. You struggle with things in your life. The Lord's trying to get you emotionally stable, some of you. And that's why he's, he's working things in you and out of you and dealing with you and convicting you he's not trying to be mean but in other cases he allows the enemy to come against you and he's not allowing it so that you can be hurt you have to understand God will never allow the enemy to do more to you than you can bear and whatever the enemy takes from you he's already got a recompense plan he's already got a reconciliation plan he's already got a payback plan so sometimes when the enemy comes against you and steals something it's not that you're happy about it but you rejoice in the Lord because you know that he saw it and that he's going to give you a payback if you do things according to his will if you don't take vengeance in your own hands if you don't try to vindicate yourself if you continue to sow you continue to pray you continue to walk in the obedience that you can the light that you have but sometimes the enemy will allow uh, the Lord will allow the enemy to come against you uh, because he wants you to learn how to fight because there's a bigger devil down the road. See, D David had to take out the lion and the bear before he ever got to the Goliath. And some would say, well, it's harder to fight a lion and a bear. Well, probably, but it, 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 I mean, in theory it would be, but this Goliath was demonized, man. The, Goli the, the lion and the bear didn't have demons. Goliath had demons. He was empowered by demons. He, praise God. And so sometimes you have to understand that, uh, that the Lord is allowing an enemy to come in your life to teach you how to fight. So learn how to fight. Fight. Learn how to fight. If you've got demons coming at you, learn how to fight. Because there's going to be a bigger demon down the road that's going to be standing in the way of your blessing. There's going to be a bigger demon down the road. If you can't de delete these little headache demons and these little, you know, these little, these little, you know, coworker persecution demons, how are you going to how are you going to defeat the Goliath down the road? Praise God. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. 
All right. So, so you've got there, there, There's a. He's teaching you. He's teaching you how to fight now, so you can fight the bigger devil later. And so, I want to pray for you for that a mantle of warfare to come on you in Jesus' name, Father. I thank you in the name of the Lord that you'll never allow more to come on us than we can bear. And even if we lose a battle, we're going to win the war because we're in Christ. Even if we lose a skirmish, a, a little battle, a little tussle with the enemy, even if it looks like we've lost, we've not lost at all. We've learned a lesson. We've not. Failed. We've learned a lesson. So I thank you, Father. There's no failure in you. There's no loss in you. And I thank you, Lord, that everything the enemy stole, he's got to pay it back. I thank you, Lord, that you teach our hands to battle and our fingers to war at a new level in this season. I thank you, Lord, that you mantle us with that warrior's anointing, God. In Jesus' name, help us, Lord, to rise up and fight for what belongs to us instead of rising up and complaining about what the devil's doing. Help us, Lord, to rise up and fight, to, to swing the sword, to armor up and run to the battle line like David with a confidence in you that you have our backs. Help us, Lord, to, to follow your leading into battle, not to pick battles, not to pick fights with, with devils that aren't messing with us, but to, to fight the battles that you are calling us to fight. Help us, Lord, to stand strong, make our... B- our spines like steel, our faces like flint, and help us, Lord, to just determine in our hearts that we're not going to give up and we're not going to bow down in Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Check out the School of Spiritual Warfare. You're going to need it in the days ahead. It's going to get more intense, I'm telling you, in the world as the, as the age grows darker. Praise God. We're going to go back into worship here.